Hello and welcome back everyone. Last time, as you can see, we cleaned up the blight that is the steppes when we took out Transoxania, cut a very nice hole into Persia, and uh, opened our way into India. We took out, I guess, what is modern day Afghanistan and part of Pakistan. And uh, we're going to now go toward the Ottomans and try and break some of their territory up. So declare war. Once again, Ethiopia can have land. Bohemia can come in, but I'm not giving them land. I'm not even going to promise them land, but they can come in. And declare war. Also, is Bohemia the... How is Bohemia not the Holy Roman Empire? Oh, because it's reformed and it's a Protestant empire, right. Alright, so you take that fort... Take all the forts, just that's how we're going to start this war. Take the forts, break their army, take Ankara, take that fort. Oh yeah, you guys... Uh, oh, we already have military access. Awesome. Take that fort. You take that fort and that territory. Their army's... Oh, I was going to say their army's running, but holy shit, it actually won. They reinforced, so the Ottomans aren't nearly as weak as the Persians were. Okay then. Okay then, so we're learning. That's alright. Yeah, whatever, abolish the tax if it makes the people happy. Not like I have no money right now. They take that, because I believe that is actually the war goal. Here comes the Bohemian armies. Now the Ethiopians, they're not quite marching in, but they are being marched on. Although actually, no, here they go. A couple of them going in there. Didn't look good for them, actually. Now I'm looking at them. Not so sure they're going to win. But oh, well, I guess they're just shields. meat shields against the Ottomans. Yeah, so we took the war goal. Let's try and make sure that we can hang on to it. Put them back at Sargrad to defend and the Ottomans are going to play that game. Their fleets, okay that's fine. You guys need a general. Wait until some of these forts fall, and then we can try and fight their armies again. Trinisha, which one's that? Oh, it's over here in the Balkans, right? Alright, well, we might as well quickly take these territories. There you go, the Ottomans are in battle. And they're lost. Basically, before I got there. And we stack wiped them. Doesn't get better than that. Alright, keep pushing into the Balkans. You're basically back at full strength, so I want you to go take their capital. And go get the fortress next to their capital. And just keep hitting them everywhere. I mean, we're gonna win. There's no real way I'm losing this. The Ottomans just don't have enough, enough forces or territory to really keep me out. Stetsies. What? What is this? What are these rebels are about to break up? Uh, Kazakh. All right. So we're about to have more nomads. Goddamn nomads. Probably how Russia did feel for most of its history, constantly fighting all these tribes in the steppes. I'm sure it was a headache and a half for most of the Tsars. This Fort 4, we've been sieging it for ages. Took out. There it goes. That one. How are the Balkans doing? 
Conquering nicely. Kosovo, I wouldn't mind that gold mine. Is it still there? No, it's coal now. I guess the gold ran out. But in saying that, coal is something I don't have much of either, so I would take that too. There's not much coal in my empire. I think I've only built like one, maybe two of those coal buildings. I'm pretty sure they make a bit of money too. Go take Mosul. Everyone knows it's a good idea to move into Iraq. It's always a good way to militarily get yourself strengthened. Just do a campaign in Iraq. What could possibly go wrong? Mission accomplished, am I right? <laughs> Quickly take those provinces. Oh, we actually won that right before these guys came in. Gonna have to all go in to reinforce that or we're gonna lose hard. Damn it. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Don't go in now. I was so close. If we had just taken that fortress first so that we could all get there easily, we would have beaten them. The Ottomans have got low. Low war enthusiasm. They don't want to be here. I can't say I blame them after that. That's the Balkans have fallen. Let's bring in these Balkan armies to mainland Anatolia, because apparently we need backup. Gonna make sure they win. Yep, they won. Before we even got there, but you know. We like to think we helped. Just take that damn province. Looks like these guys came Right. Why did you not reinforce? What the fuck? If you'd reinforced, I think we would have won. You're probably not going to get there in time, but... Just keep throwing men at them, honestly. We're Russians. I mean, how else are we going to fight? Ah, oh, we're losing like every battle because the Bohemians keep going in at inopportune times. Apparently the Ethiopians are losing to Morocco. That's lovely of them. Yeah, keep taking that fort. So you guys split up or you'll start, you know, dying to attrition. Where are the other guys that retreated? They're all here. Yeah, get back in there. I want you all ready to head back to the front. We got more than enough men to keep the armies reinforced. The Ottomans would have to really fight this war super hard if they wanted to bleed Russia out at this point. Get him. Crush any Ottoman stacks we can. Because there's not many we can right now. There's too many of them everywhere. If we can just try and hold their economy down everywhere we can, keep weakening them slowly. So this could be a very big battle, so let's get in there with everybody. Now it seems we broke most of their military might. Ha, <laughs> we won again. I think we just broke most of their army. 
That's just because we're like an oncoming siege. You just can't stop this many Russians. They stopped one assault and they just sent four more armies in. I mean, this is the most Russian playstyle I can imagine. Oh, they don't need help with that. Quickly siege that port. We got Haleb. Guys, come down and give him a hand all around, Haleb. You go retake Mosul. And you guys just keep coming in. I don't know who you two are. You can go away. Breaking the goddamn Ottomans. Has Ethiopia... Oh, no. I was going to say, have they seized their land back? But no, they just lost. They just outright lost the war. They're not in the war anymore. I guess that makes sense. I did think they were going to lose, I just didn't think they'd lose quite that quickly. Kind of hoping they'd hold out a little bit more. I think maybe that's a bad alliance for me to have, honestly. If they're not going to help me against the Ottomans, which is the whole reason I bothered to ally them, then what's the good in them? I did offer them land, but they got out, so I guess I don't have to give it over. But that's one nice thing about them being gone, I guess. Power of the fleet. They will fear our fleets. They will fear the Grand Russian Navy. Not something that's been said in many parts of history. Russian Navy's never exactly been known for its greatness. They were far too vast a land empire to ever really have a proper navy. I think there was a few occasions where they had a decent navy, but it just... It's too hard. They've got to sail right around the world to get to each of their ports, which just kind of makes it impractical to have a proper one. Hello. Actually just lost the stack there, that's not great. Revolutionaries everywhere. What, because they lost a few battles, suddenly everyone's going all revolutionary on them. Also, that's a big army that's starting to get together down there. We need to get in there and make sure that doesn't come north. Start retaking that fort. Back up. Take him. We got him. Alright. Yeah, they made one army retreat, but we made them retreat, and that's what's important. Okay, I don't need another general. I've got enough now. I've had a few armies die. There we go, their main army just got stack wiped. And with them offering me peace, I think that was their main army. Although, in saying that, they have another army right here, so what's going on? What's going on, Ottomans? What kind of games you're playing at here? Also, I really want to look over here, because, yep. I kept seeing all these weird Asian names pop up. Had a feeling that was happening. He Liang. That's good, because I can go to war with Liang. Can't quite reach Shu. I could go to, oh yeah, I could go to war with Yi and then Shu. And take those out. And then it looks like someone else is going to break out there. By the time I do all that, Ming will probably be back. I mean, Ming will probably be out of the peace thing with me. What is it? The truce. Truce. Oh, these are Moroccan men. Why are there so many Moroccans? 
Ben and Ben and Army arrived. Get out of here. Let me guess, you just lost your only army? Get out of here, kid. This is the big leagues, you don't fit in. No, just get. I can't even be bothered making you pay me money. Just leave. Morocco, did I beat your army? No, it's still here. If I beat that army, they'll probably leave the war. Well, when I beat that army, I should say. We are going to. There's almost no ifs about that. Alright, so they're going in. We're going to go in with them. There we go. That beats that Ottoman army. Right, let's finish off the Middle East. Ooh, there's a lot of... A lot of forces gathering here. We got any more forces nearby? Sort of. Ooh, the Moroccans separated themselves. They made a mistake. They made a big mistake there. That's probably enough for me to kick Morocco out. Yep, low. Because I don't own any of their land, but I don't care. Just get out. Ninety percent. The other guys must be facile because I can't kick them out. Oh, that was close. Why have we slowed down? We fought our way all the way down to the Sinai Peninsula. What more could you want? Honestly, that's probably enough. 90%. I don't need 100% or 99%. I could fight this a while longer, but why bother? Let's just take some of their land and be done with this. Um... What do I want now? I should probably take more of the Balkans. Do I have any missions to take land that I'm missing out on? Liberate Ruthenia, so that's, you know, I have to fight the Commonwealth. Romania, so if I take that bit. And Poland, I'd have to turn on Bohemia. So I need this area, so maybe I should focus on the Balkans. Pretty sure it was those for this area. Honestly, it wouldn't hurt for me to take the Balkans. Take this bit. Take all of Greece. I did say I wanted Kosovo. Yeah, let's focus on the West. Let's take some Western stuff. Oh yeah, they'll let me take up to 100. I'll do it. That's probably well over 100%, right? Oh no, 90. That's actually really good. Use all my admin power to just nab all that up. Fucking beautiful. <laughs> I ran out just for that last province. So they're going to lose all that almost certainly. We've got enough middle, but we're not going to take the idea because we want the tech first. So Stetsy, I can't quite do it, but lower autonomy. Alright guys, get out of there. What a positive spin on things. Now if I go world powers, Ottomans got dropped to fourth, France went up one. And I gained almost a thousand development in those last two wars, I swear I was four thousand something. I gained a lot there. They're still in the top five though, which is 
pretty good. We're still the fourth strongest power in the world, even after that beating. 1804. I could even go in on Persia again soon. I mean, first I want to get this lot. Of course, we want to make all of this our territory first. So now we're conquering faster than we can convert. We've still got all these Sunni provinces to convert. Son of a... I hate the steppes. I hate the steppes so much. I forgot about the Kazakh rebels that were spawning. They must have spawned during that war and I forgot. I hate the steppes with a passion. I hate them so much, but at least they're already... Oh, did I not even finish coring them? I swear I did. Oh, they're even like partly orthodox. I hate it. I hate the goddamn steps. Take it out on Liang. Who's your ally? Shu. What about Yi? You have an ally? I can. We'll take it out on a on Yi. You're gonna cop my my wrath and my annoyance. Peasants. I can't believe this shit. We're about to get all this as provinces. There we go. Four provinces. Keep converting. I think the Catholic ones fall the fastest. Apparently missionary. Yeah, missionary strength goes up when you reach a hundred. So let's just try and reach a hundred. Get that missionary strength and convert all these guys faster. Papal states. I'm impressed that we took Greece and all that fairly simply. I actually got a lot more territory out of that war than what I thought I would. Yep, good. Rebels, deal with them. That's why we're still here. We got a tech, that'll be the mill tech. Yep. Unit types, mass infantry. Now that's a Russian tactic. Keep converting, and in the Far East. Oh, hang on. Shu's actually occupying them. We'll wait and see what Shu does. We'll wait and see what Shu does before we go in on Yi. Uh, do you have any allies? Ottomans and Dali. <sighs> I hate them. I hate the steps so much. And I hate that Chagatai is actually growing. Hmm. Really? And Venice is still alive just on Crete? That's actually a little impressive. We've got on in Europe, we've got the Netherlands, Bohemia... Not much left in the uh, HRE. Yeah, they're never going to get those reforms through. HRE is going to just forever be this shithole now. I mean, it's rich. No denying that, it's a very rich area if you can take it. I so want to, but I'm not gonna yet. Just wait. 
Just wait for ye. The Shu Yi Imperialist War. Declare war. Going in. Pretty sure with one army. Oh! They're actually taking a bit of territory. They're bigger than they were. Where's the other army that was out here in the east? Oh, it's down Korea. Let's get them up here. Do that next tech as well. Continue converting. And keep killing all of these people. Hey there, 25k army. 15k stack, whatever. You're dead. You got nothing. Lost the stability, let's just fix that immediately. Ottoman separatists, of course there are. I mean, this is just too easy now, the Ming's collapsed. And now they've collapsed and their land's like disunited, they've got more rebels spawning in areas they can't even get to. Which just makes this even easier. Yeah, cutting them off from the outside world by taking all their ports, I think was the last stroke. They can't get any income in, they can't trade, the allies are limited to their neighbours. Like, do they even hold the mandate anymore? No. No, they don't. Vietnam now holds the Mandate of Heaven. Ming's lost it. And here we go. Take out the last of these rebels. Eighty percent. Ye, give me your lands. Damn, they're cheap now. Cheap shit lands. Hand them over. This is Russia. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Actually, go deal with those rebels. Liang, who are you allies with? Z and Shu. Easy. As soon as we have a diplomat, declare war. Declare war. Oh good, they won't even come in. Looks like you've got no allies. Let's quickly take out your capital. Oh, it actually looks like a decent, that's nearly a 40 development province, that's pretty nice. I see you have a military. That's cute. Mine's bigger. Key Fei. Because, you know, we've taken it a few times already, but well, we've occupied it a few times. Most dead generals have died. Died or retired, one or the other. Take that. Shuzhou, which is a 33 development. Alright, Liang. We'll be taking that right off your hands. And almost all your money. Can't quite afford to take it all. We'll take everything we can. 93%. Alright, we'll stop expanding temporarily. Deal with the rebels that are no doubt popping up. Have we uh, here? Rebels are definitely popping up. And there they are, there. We don't actually have any Ottomans rising up. Surprisingly. Or do we? Yeah, we still got 
Ottoman Separatist that still says they're fairly likely to pop up. They haven't quite yet. A revolt. Yeah, who would have guessed it'd be there? In the land I just recently took. <laughs> Dave it's coming in. He doesn't have any tributaries though, so he's got really low... Hang on. He's tiny. I've just realised that he's actually lost most of his land to other people. Even Portugal's come in and beat him up. I swear he was a lot bigger before. I mean, he's still losing. I think he's made an alliance with Spain? Or is Spain just going in on him? No, Spain's going in on someone else and Ming decided to defend them. Ming's dumb like that. Also, Vigiangar is going in on Dali. I mean, I'm pretty sure the game actually ends soon. So, yeah, well, that's probably a good sign of it. The fact that I've nearly got the... Well, I've got the last admin tech. Quickly take out the fort. We'll take this province too. Or oh, this place. What's it called? Z. Burning down their one fort. Got an idea. more people to convert and another advisor required and I'll end the episode as soon as I'm done with this war because it is getting to that point where I need to do it gone over time a little bit I think now but that's alright we can quickly finish this war as soon as this fort falls the war is basically over yeah. so the others don't have any forts so it'll be just a quick one two on them there's a lot of rebels there. Shun just broke through. I mean, broke free from me. Good. I guess that's my next conquest. Straight into Shun. I will quickly deal with these rebels, just so I don't forget next time. there and deal with them. You go give them a hand. And is there any others? Still no Ottoman uprisings? Good. Alright, thank you for watching and uh, next time we'll continue I don't know. We're near the end now. There's probably like one, maybe two more episodes left, but we'll just continue conquering what we can. Bye for now.